Guys, hello, Tony from the Outsider Channel here. Introducing the new video for today. So this is a weird one. I'm kind of back from the road trip. Do I have to do that? This one. It's freaking beautiful here. I'm on a little bit of a road trip to Sea Otter. Kind of a last minute thing I'm doing. And on the way up, I'm stopping at awesome places to do some riding get some extra days in, have some good times, and bring you guys along with me. So, although today I'm not in Simi Valley, as you can tell. Do you like that? It's like this new editing magic I'm working with anyway. I apologize for that, I had to do it. And um, today we're at The Grudge. It's a black trail, I rode it blind. Disclaimer, I found this trail a couple years ago by accident, a different bike, different progression level. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Hike a bike the whole thing, don't remember a thing. So I'm calling it Riding Blind today. We're solo, no locals to show us around. Just kind of barge this thing. It's the first ride on my ride up to Sea Otter Classic, which if you watched last week's video, I ended on that video because, you know, timing. Oh, one more thing. Do you want stickers? Info is below in the description. All the info you need to know on this ride is below. Also, and Instagram. Let's get to the ride. Why are you still here? Get go. Go. All right, guys, we're parked at Rocky Peak Trailhead. You have this option. And I know there's a side street down there near Corrigan Park called Smith Street that you can park on as well. I'm not sure how safe it is. I do see some glass on the ground right over here, but the entrance is right across the street through the Rocky Peak Trailhead right there. And we're just gonna go over the highway to the trailhead and head up straight across. And then we're gonna take a left. Into Rocky Peak Trail. And in case I didn't mention it already, I do not know these trails. I'm riding solo today and blind. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what the term blind, riding blind means, I'm not actually blind. There is no memorization. And if it's a black trail, double black trail, like the grudge is, you really want to take your time. Don't just blast down it. Check out what's around the corner. Check out if it's a drop. Check out what the jump looks like. Check out the rock garden, wherever you are. I don't care how good you are. It's just a safe bet to do that when you're riding a trail that you're thinking is gonna be pretty gnarly and you don't have a local showing you around, so. I'm trying to follow my own advice here today and look at this ride as more of an exploratory mission with you guys. Take advantage of the bench. <laughs> Highly suggest that. And taking it in. little piece of advice before we head up definitely download the trail forks app if you guys don't use that yet because mtb projects doesn't have these trails on their mapping system they're only on trail forks yeah the climb's pretty long but it makes it interesting it's not just some boring fire road although parts of this ride you kind of wish it was but it's got some rocky tech bits nothing that you're going to want to walk up but just kind of have a little bit of fun with All right, cool bench, great signage. Hummingbird Trail is another 
kind of a must ride trail from what I've seen in the vids. Also double black, I think. I'm also unfamiliar with that one. I'm not sure if that one's more difficult than the grudge or not. But today our mission is to get the grudge. Not have a grudge, but ride it. That was a terrible joke. Definitely editing that out. I appreciate that. <laughs> I knew something was up when we were headed down. We just missed the grudge trail, uh, just a little bit back. Apparently there's no signage for that one, so definitely use trail forks. Give you guys a little taste of the extra credit climb I had to do just now. Should be right over here on the right-hand side now since we passed it on the left. And I'm thinking this is it right here. Ooh, and there is a huge rattlesnake. It looks like it's rattlesnake season again. Eyes open, hummingbird is marked, the grudge is not. I actually heard a few years ago, I was talking to somebody and they said this trail was kind of secret, but it's on trail forks now, which they're pretty good about maintaining what's good and what's not as far as being sanctioned and unsanctioned. So that's why I'm pretty comfortable with bringing you guys along in this trail guide. Oh, got something. All right, that woke me up. We'll be lying to you if I said I wasn't a little nervous about this one. Rattlesnakes, <laughs> that didn't help. And that's not what I'm really thinking about. Just wanna be careful. Riding blind and solo on a double block today. Just talking to myself, reminding myself out loud. Okay, it feels like this is where we can stop pedaling. I got a feeling because that points down. Little bit of a drop. We got a roller and a whoop de doo. <laughs> that was fun. All right, now I'm thinking this is where the stuff starts. Up or left? <laughs> is this the trail? Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to do some research here. It just goes into a massive slick rock with a uh, little lily pond. All right, line confirmed. Here, up, over, and then head down to the right. There's a little roller drop, and then I can see the trail. Up, over, to the right. Looks like I hang left here. Oh, what's that? Gonna have to take a look at that. Let's have a look, see. That looks like a drop. Oh yeah, that's a drop all right. This is kind of what I was talking about when I was saying I gotta be careful because I know I can do that. Looks kind of scary, but uh, that's well within my skill level. <sighs> this is like one of those things where I'm trying to be smart and not risk stuff like this by myself. So I think I'm gonna make the judgment of just kind of walk in this one, come back and do it another day, just in case. I got a long week ahead of me. It's not really worth it. Even though it kind of is, uh, I'll be back for you. Right, that I think I've got. I got a four foot drop into a little downhill section. That was definitely turned out to be a little rowdier than I thought. <laughs> Coming in with that much speed nice little rock garden oh 
I've seen this in the vids. Yeah, that's a big drop. Cheers to you guys. <laughs> I've seen you guys be just blasting over this thing. That's quite a chunk to clear. You gotta be flying. And part of me just wants to let it open, but the other part of me knows that this trail has sneaky stuff like that that pops up on you. I like that. Not too graceful. Way to go here. Oh, that's a jump. That's a nice size one. Some arrows, I'm not sure what they are pointing to. coming up. That looks rollable. Give you guys another perspective on this pretty steep rock incline to this wall, straight away down through a rock garden. And then you come through here and you've got to roll this steep little guy into a left hand turn. Steeper than it looks for sure. Haha. <laughs> It's such an odd feeling riding a trail like this, not knowing what's coming. I'm sure you guys have done it too, but it's like this <laughs> constant state of awareness that you just don't get when you ride trails that you're familiar with. Well, I'm here, might as well give a sweet shout out to Niblets. Thanks for making the trails look less fantastic. Great work, mission accomplished, Niblets. Not following my own advice there, just sending it up. Well done, sir. Man, that is so loose. I think an A on the exit strategy though. Good. Somewhere up there, I heard a rattle. I just checked, it looks like I broke a spoke. Uh. Trying to take it easy. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be riding on a broken spoke. Probably not. So friggin' loose. Wow. I think that might be it. <laughs> so fun yet. Yeah. Damn, dude. Definitely come here with a, at least another person for the first time. Feel like I was a little sketchy riding blind on that. But I did my best to keep it chill. 
my priority right now is to get to the next stop, which is Morro Bay, see if I can get a bike shop to fix that spoke. Okay, so the grudge pops you out to kind of an open space area, which leads right to the street. This road, which is called, leads you right back to the parking lot. A lot of people shuttle this part, or you can head up for another lap if you got the stamina. Thanks for letting me bring your map to life. All the information you need in this ride that I can give you, Strava, Trail Forks, parking, it's gonna be in the description below. If you guys like the video, like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for letting me bring your map to life.